so far we have not looked into a very important islamic mode of financing which is qard hasan in fact a lot of islamic banks find it very difficult to use qard hasan as a mode of finance and from the pure banking view point actually this is the case in case of qard hasan someone extends loan to another person and at best the lender can expect to receive the principal sum back there is no return banks are not interested in this kind of charitable activity hence qard hasan cannot be considered as a mode of finance it can be considered a mode of financing by those people who are looking for zero return on financing of course banks are not interested in it if banks are interested in it they could be interested in it because this could be a pull product what do i mean by pull product now if it is a gesture of goodwill if the bank offers interest free loans to its clients then the clients might be bringing some business to the bank and from that business the bank may be earning some profit so uh, it, it this is what we call this is this could be a pull product by its own it doesn't bring any revenue or any immediate benefit however around it there could be some business coming into the bank which would add to the profits of this bank having said that it is important to be very careful when using a qard hasan uh, as a product because in case of qard hasan the bank cannot benefit from qard hasan directly or indirectly any benefit any benefit which is accrued because of qard hasan that might become a prohibited income for the bank so due to this reason banks are actually very reluctant to use qard hasan as a mode of financing although in non bank financial sector there are quite a few examples where qard hasan is being used very successfully and we shall be covering one example of the use of qard hasan in a non bank financial sector in our next module